This is the plaintiff, Taven Tavanese. He says he hired the defendant, a gun maker, to build him a rifle, and the guy took off with his money. He's not the type to let someone get away with that and is suing him in this court for the $780 he's owed. This is the defendant, Marcus. He says he started working on the gun, but when he went to verify the plaintiff, he was only 19 years old, and he can't build a gun for a 19-year-old. This kid was trying to do something illegal. He threatened him, and he's not returning a penny. He's accused of gunning for a lawsuit. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff hired the defendant to build him a gun, says the guy did nothing and won't give him a refund. People's Court but the session. defendant the says Judge the guy Marilyn lied about his day. age and it would be illegal to sell him a gun. It's the case of no, gunning for justice. Now. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay, Tayden Tavanese, you're suing Marcus for $780 that, according to you, you have paid him to purchase an AR-15 from him. What part of Florida are you guys from? Cape Coral, Florida, Your Honor. Okay, so what happened here? So I met Marcus through a mutual friend, and he agreed that he would build me this rifle. And I was very upfront with him. What were you going to be using the AR-15 for? Just for target practice, just to keep around the house, just to keep inside my home. Okay. And I like to go to the gun range with my parents, with my grandpa, with my uncle. So I met him through a mutual friend and I had paid him to build this because he seemed to be like a very trustworthy guy. He and I verified with him everything beforehand. I made sure that it was 100% legal for my age. It was 100%. How did you verify that? Done through him because he told me that he was an expert. He was somewhat of How a, did you a verify that it was 100% that. legal for your age? You're 19. Well, I made sure beforehand that um, after I paid him, I told him, if this doesn't come to fruition, that my dad will pick it up for me. He is 40 years old. He's 50 years old. He's able to grab the gun. He, he can legally own it. I made sure beforehand that no matter what, what happens, what excuses he would Beforehand like, or afterhand? Was that before or after? Beforehand. We, we, there right, have been so, occasions we had met in person. So you give him, what's the agreement? You're going to get an AR-15 Yes. So at the I age of 19 in There's Florida, a- where you have to be 21, mm-hmm. uh, ever since the Marjorie Stoneham Douglas shootings. Um, the law was changed. And if you already owned a gun, your grandfathered in. If you didn't, you could no longer get a gun until you're 21. Let me ask you this, though. Did, did, oh, well, actually, let me ask Mr. Marcus. Did, did you ever ask him how old he is? Because he looks young. He does look young. Um, and when we met at the mutual friend's house, um, I didn't ask him then. I didn't ask him because I was, I'm a novice. Care. In, in, in all, well, in all honesty, I'm a novice. I, well, I was. Okay, you're a novice who's going to build an AR-15 for a 19-year-old, right? Is that what you're telling me? You're a novice? Unfortunately, at, at first, yes, you're, yeah. you're correct, Your Honor, yes. Well, and you're not, uh, you're a novice at what? You're going to build an at AR-15? At building it, yeah. What, what, that, yeah. I, mean, I mean, what do you mean you're a novice at building it? So now, for you pay him $400, Mr. Tavis, Tavanese, you yes, pay him ma'am. $400, and, and on the day that you pay him the $400, you actually video proof of you giving him the $400, correct? Yes, ma'am. I wanted to make sure to have evidence. Yeah, that's lovely. Just, Hold on one second. And Hold on so one let, second. Let I'm right now, paying my boy 400 total, 575 plus shipping for an AR-15 by next week. Yes. Video evidence. All right. Contact. And my name's Marcus. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, what was that supposed to prove that you gave him what? You just put a wad out there. Yes, I clarified. And in the text message, it clarifies that I made two payments and that was the first payment, which was actually let's talk about the text messages and whether they clarified that you made two payments. Okay, I would like you to refer me to the text that proves that you made a second payment afterwards. What day was that text? Um, the, the text where he says something about how you paid almost eight hundred dollars for a gun that you're not even going to come shoot with me. And he wanted okay, to Okay, hold on one second. Day. And that's, okay, here we yes, go. Ma'am. Damn, bruh, spend 
close to 800 on a gun and you ain't even want to shoot it. I bet you'd be getting that good, good to still be sleep at 1230. It's because he smokes pot. I want to see all the text between you two. Why is this so hard? Um, I sent a lot of texts. Yeah, I know. You sent the ones that are good for you. And then I can't read what it is you're talking about. What does all that mean, Mr. Marcus? He was supposed to spend 800. The good good is, so, so he was supposed to spend $800. I was blowing him up so frequently because you know, he'd made the one initial payment in the video that we took. And it's like, dude, you're supposed to spend this much money and you don't even want to come pick it up. Like, well, you, like, you uh, don't that's even what you wanna... say. And what he says is, damn, bruh, spend yes. close to 800 on a gun and you ain't even want to shoot it. <laughs> he says this is proof that he paid that's you close to him? 800. No, that's oh, from you saying to him. And so he's. Yes. Uh, can I ask you something? If you were so careful to videotape um, your first receipt and to get proof of it, when did you pay the other amount that you're claiming you paid that he denies receiving? Mr. It was within the next week. Okay, so it where's your receipt it for it or video. your video for it? I guess I should have taken a video for both, but I just ended up trusting him at that point. Why? Let me why? If say. you're the kind of guy who because gets a receipt, why didn't you just get a receipt or take I a guess video? I should have got two receipts. How did you pay, how um, did you pay him the 300? What method did you use? It, it was in it was in person. It was cash again. Okay, so you and, had your um, phone on you, right? I, it was also yes, ma'am. And you could and have taped also it. another text message. And you could have taped yes, it, right? And there was yeah, a, but you didn't tape it. Right? No, I didn't take my second video because I already taped the first one. I thought that would be enough to- Why? That proved, the first one proves the, the first one. Why, why would that be? That, well, I'd rather hear you say, yeah, I didn't think of it, you know, than tell no, me, I didn't, I didn't you're, need you're it. Right. right. Yeah, that's so, kind of silly. I I wouldn't need it. Hey, you're what correct. day do you want to come grab that? I'll be around Monday night. I might start my new job. Monday sounds perfect. As long as she works fine and won't mess up. Fired five rounds through it. She's solid. What? When did you buy, when were you going to bother to find out whether it was legal for you to sell a 19 year old a gun, Mr. Marcus? Because it sounds like you're asking him to pick it up. Correct. I, 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 I probably found out in early December that he was 19. Well, why weren't, why, how, but you were just fine with him coming to pick it up on November 22nd. You're telling him to come get it. So what propelled he'd you? Already get, he'd already, he had already given me the money. How much? The, like the four hundred dollars, right? The, the initial four hundred dollars he had given me that, and so I'm still trying to, you know, figure this situation out. He's not coming to pick it up. He's asking to come and pick it up. I mean, it was it was a cluster. what propelled you to find uh, out his age? Advice from another gun enthusiast. He says this is something you Does should do. Does he ask you for the four hundred back since you weren't going to give him the gun? I blocked him after that. I don't know. You blocked him. Why? No. I don't have an answer. Well, you no. You do have an answer. Don't you don't want to tell me, but just tell me what what was the reason you blocked him? I didn't want to deal with him anymore. He hadn't finished the rest of the payments. He didn't want. He was beating around the bush. He was underage. I felt swindled. I felt lied to. I was upset, and I blocked him and got rid of the the contact information. At the end of the day, I was still stuck with missing payments and then a, a firearm that I didn't want. Where's the firearm now? That's not the gun. That's a screenshot from Google. Right. Why did you send him that? That was a picture of like, a, like I was wondering if he wanted something similar to that. I don't, I don't know. No, this is uh, March 18th of 2021. And you're saying, let me know once they send, once who sends what? I don't know. Your Honor? Yeah. Um, he, he sent me those texts. Just to stall me for more time, he said that he would give me that gun even in 2021 just to appease me because I already finished making the payments and he didn't want to. Why are you, uh, you know, I, I'm going to need proof that you finish it. making the payments. Do you have proof that you finish making yes, the payments for the it, gun that you it, have no business buying? Yes. Show me proof. Yes, ma'am. Show there's me a, proof of the second DM, payment. There's a DM from Instagram where he says that, yes, you paid me. But it, it did not total out to 790. He only disagrees to the amount that the two payments came out to. He does not disagree that I paid him a second time. Hold on. In Instagram DM. Sir, you lied to me about your age and I legally cannot sell someone who is underage a pistol in the state of Florida. You committed fraud by lying to me and committed a felony by trying to illegally gain access to a firearm by lying about your age. You never said he lied about his age. You said you never even bothered to ask him. The money you spent was labor. 
putting it together. And in no way did you spend 800. I remember the video and I was happily offered to let you take it because you told me you were 21. Oh, that's just made up. Not 19. Have fun spending more money in court and on lawyers just to have you lose and get brought to criminal court. So do you, I ask you again, do you have proof of the full payment? Do you have proof of the second payment? Is there anything else you want no, to show me? Because you're showing me in dribs and drabs. Yes, ma'am. Yes. What else do you so want to show by me? November, by November of 2020, I was 20 years old. And secondly, he did not You, you have to be to 21, not 20. Any, yeah. You being 20 yes, is, not, I'm, I'm is, turning, is irrelevant. Yes, ma'am. Right. Completely understandable. And I, t- I made sure that my dad would pick it up for me. If he yeah, and I know you said that to him. Well, age. don't worry. You'll just sell it to my dad. And why yes, wouldn't ma'am. you just sell it to the dad, Mr. Marcus? Because it was his dad was just going to give it to him and grandfather him into it, even though he tried to gain access to it beforehand. Like I just didn't see anything right. With okay, the so if that's the case, thing. and you acknowledge getting four hundred dollars, and you're you're just trying to do the right thing, you're you know you're an honest guy trying to do the right thing. I'm new at this. I'm just learning. Someone else gave me advice. So why didn't you just return his four hundred dollars? I should have. You think? Yes, ma'am. All right. Where else do you want me to look for proof that you made a second payment, Mr. Tavanisi? Um, I believe he says in one of the text messages, you made a 300 and 400, almost $700 payment. Okay, show me so which text I, message on what that, day. I believe that was in November. I believe it's right there. Please bring 300 tonight mm-hmm. since you already brought me 400. You will see receipts for everything. Did you bring him 300 that night? Yes, did ma'am. You, did you he read, bring you 300 that, that night, Mr. Marcus? No. Right. So what I need to see is the actual proof that you actually brought the 300. The net, what's the next text after that? Do you have your phone with you? Yes, ma'am. Do you have these, this text? Okay. So far I've spent 650 getting your gun together. I'm going to charge only $50 for helping put it together and doing the, yeah, I know what that means. And doing the research, please bring 300 tonight. I want you to find that text in your phone. Can you do that for me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I know. It's obvious you're talking about the money you've spent up to then, and then you're asking him to bring 300 tonight. I want to yes. know what happens after that in the text. I did bring 300. Yeah, I know. You want you say yes, he says no. We can go on like this for years, but we're not yes, going to. I understand. So what I want to see is what happens right after that text, because you've just cut and pasted. You didn't send all your text. You said you cut and pasted so that the stuff you don't want me to see isn't in there. Um Okay, it says directly after that, I'll be there. No, no, what I want you to do is put the phone up to the uh, screen, and then I'll tell you what to do next. Move the phone back like four inches. Stay there. Move it a little closer. I'll be there. Can you read that? I'll be there with the money. Why don't you flip it around to you and read the green one? I'll be there soon with the money. You the man, bro. I'm... Pumped. Okay, now turn it around and let me see that again. I'd like you to read the text that he, I'll let, the middle text between the two green ones, read that. I'll let you know when I'm home. Hey, it's no problem. You seem like a solid dude with the way the world is right now. Everyone deserves a gun. The age requirement. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> now turn it around and let me verify that that's what it says. Yes, ma'am. The age requirement. Hmm. Hey, dude, can I come? What's the next uh, text from you? Hey, dude, can I come? Okay, bet, dude. Can I come over soon? I'm still with my girl. And he says, just let me know. And then that is done on what date? What day do you do that? Do you write that text? November 3rd. All right. And then your next text is when after that? November the 4th. And what is it you text to him? Yo, 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 just woke up. And then what does he text to you? Um, he, I said is the background check through and he says the check he's talking about the background check and things to be delivered what background check he he said he was running a background check on who on the underage guy that he knows is underage Uh, well he's i asked him is the check through what is it you text after that awesome bro can't wait to see that lower receiver and yeah any day now on that and i can drop it off to you whenever the 300 who's saying that him or you me. Me. Uh, I said, yeah, I can, I can drop that off to you. Oh, okay. And he sends me his address. Right. So you didn't take the 300 the other night because you're talking about it a week later. Yep. He never paid me. 
Um, I think I think I, I see this is where the receipts are. But you got any other proof that you paid the rest of the money? Yes, ma'am. Um, he says um, he, the parts got ordered in. Like after I after this day, so I, I saw the him parts in person. With my own money. Mr. Tavanese, I have a very simple question and I'm not going to ask it a hundredth time. Welcome back to the People's Court. The question, did the plaintiff lie about his age to the defendant? Let's go back into the courtroom and find out. I need proof that you paid an additional 380 if you want me to order him to pay you the additional 380. The text you just read, yes, are you telling him, yeah, yeah, I'm going to bring it by up, and yes. you tell me, yeah. So I guess you didn't pay the 300 that other time several days ago because this is many days later and these are texts talking about bringing the 300. So do you have any other proof, yes or no? No, ma'am, I have no All right, I'm going to order the defendant to pay you back the $400 and uh, frankly... I'm kind of appalled at all of you, and I believe in the Second Amendment. I, I do. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think guns are bad. I think people are bad with guns. And uh, one of the few things that no matter where you stand on this issue, we all agree on is that, you know, you can curb and make sure that someone with mental illness doesn't get a gun and that someone who's underage, whatever the legislature and in its infinite wisdom decides, doesn't get a gun. There are just a few things, you know, certain guns are illegal in some places, all guns are illegal in other places. There are just a few things that we have to abide by. And both of you are full of garbage when you claim, I didn't know I couldn't have a gun. And when you claim, I didn't know he was underage, you're both total, total liars. You both knew what you were doing and you were both up to no good. <sighs> Verdict for the plaintiff, $400. Well, in spite of the fact that the judge doesn't believe either the plaintiff or the defendant, the plaintiff is going to get his $400 back. Mr. Marcus, let me ask you something. You're the defendant. What's your reaction to having given that money back? What about it? That's fine. I agree with it. You do agree with it. Did you ever get the instinct he was going to do something illegal with this gun? Well, he sells drugs, so probably. So, so a weird even place. though you thought he might be doing something illegal, you were going to, you, you would have made it. That's, that's very interesting. Thank you. <laughs> okay, That's Mr. Tabernese, let me ask you something. Uh, obviously, you're happy you're going to get the money back. No question there. Did you ever get a gun? It's not the full amount. No, it's not the full amount that I paid. And no, I did not get a gun. This guy is an absolute con artist. And the fact that he is talking about drug use when he is literally a method is absolutely hilarious to me. That's just laughable. Okay. Well, very good. All right, Harvey. So, Doug, this is really interesting. If this kid, the plaintiff, was under 18, he'd be a minor, and minors can disavow contracts and get their money back. But here, he is technically an adult, even though he's not of legal age to buy a gun in Florida. So in a situation like this, if there were clear proof that the plaintiff defrauded the defendant by lying about his age, I think the plaintiff would have lost, but not the case here. You rent an apartment with amenities, but during COVID, you can't access them. <laughs> Pool, exercise room, spa, etc. Can you dispute your monthly rent? Wow, don't I wish that you could do that because you and I are footing the bill for a couple of students' apartments yes. and uh, that's exactly what's happening. So it's kind of frustrating. Right. Look, it, it, you know, the part of the problem with COVID is that we just don't know where the beginning, middle and end is. And right. um, so you you sign a lease and the pool is there. The infrastructure for the pool is there. They're, the pool is, you so know, the landlords living up to their end of the bargain. Well, if yeah, they no, maintain but, the pool. Right. It's, it's ready to go. I right? mean, if they, I'd be more, I would be pretty angry if they had closed a gym and I had rented because, right. you know, you might you might be really counting on that access and not joining a gym. Right. So I don't know. It, that, that's, a, uh, you know, I, I think that you'll be hard pressed to be able to sue to get some rent back based on that because the building cannot control what right. limitations are in effect. Right. Now, if they just close the thing because it's easier for them to close it, which rather I suspect than, it seems like that, some then businesses. Then they're doing something that they don't have to and do. And it does seem like some businesses are just taking this issue of the pandemic to eliminate all kinds of services that are- I, I know you're talking about related. the airlines right now. I know that you're talking <laughs> right. about getting your meal right. at an airline. Everything, oh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah COVID. Well, why, you just handed me this tray with these right. chips. If you, It's right. the same action. You're right. handing me a tray. Why can't you hand me a tray with something that's not chips, you know? So long, farewell, aloha, and a Vita Zane. We'll see you next time.